Hey guys, Trey back again with another video. And in the last video, we made our app look a lot better than what it was before. So now we have a proper table holding our tickets and we also have a better looking form where we can modify our tickets. All right, but as we noticed, um, when we did this restyling, we lost some functionality. So now when I click, it doesn't pop up here and we have no way to delete um, any one of these tickets. So let's go ahead and do that. first thing we're going to do is add back this click functionality so when we click it should put the ticket that we clicked on over here in the modify ticket so let's go back to our code um, right here in our app.js file I'm going to go right underneath where we create our state and I'm going to add two more functions so I'm going to call this first function load ticket so this is this is the function that we're going to use to set our current ticket so when we click we'll call this function it's going to set the current ticket to the ticket that we pass in so we're going to actually need to add um ticket here as a parameter and then we're going to say set current ticket to that ticket and that's it for that one and i also want to add another function that i want to call unload ticket all right and it's just going to set the current ticket to an empty object that way we can clear um, the modified ticket all right so first thing we want to do is add this load ticket so we're going to go down to um our table and then we're going to add on a function called on select all right and this on select is going to call our load ticket so what we need to do now is add this on select to our actual table object. So we're going to go to our table component in table.js. We're going to scroll up to where we're passing in our props. Underneath height, we're going to say on select and we're going to set it to null to start with. So by default, this function will be null. All right. And the reason we do that is because when we create this table, sometimes we may not pass in an on select, you know, this, just for the, the table component. What we want to do is go down to where we are rendering our rows which is right in here and then on this td object where we're passing in the value we want to go ahead and add an on click function all right and this on click function is going to be another function that's going to call our on select function and pass in our ticket so in this case our ticket will be this object variable all right so with that being done we should be able to click there we go so now when we click it pops up over here so we can see that it's changing to the correct ticket when we click so that adds that functionality back next thing we're going to do is add our delete functionality back which we'll just add on another column with a button that says delete and you can click the button and it'll actually remove the ticket from the database so let's go back to uh let's go to our app.js file then in here we're going to um, next to our on select in the table we're going to uh, pass in something called on delete and this is going to take in our function that we already created which is send delete request which is up here i'll just copy the name i'll come back down i'll paste it here so this is how we're going to delete so now i'm going to save that and then we're going to go to sorry restyle so we're going to go to um our table.js and use this on delete so if we scroll back up to the top where we passed in our props underneath on select we're going to put on delete set it to null to start with all right and then we're going to scroll down so where we're doing our table headers we're going to go underneath where we're doing this map and then we're going to open up some more um, curly braces and then we'll say on delete and then we'll do these and so basically we're going to say if on delete is not null then we're going to render whatever is behind this, these uh, double ampersands so what we want to put back here is another table header and it'll be called actions so this is just basically going to add another column that's called actions okay so once we do that we need to scroll down to where we're actually rendering our our tickets and underneath this map we're going to put pretty much the same thing we're going to say on delete 
with our double ampersand. So basically, if on delete is not null, then render whatever's behind these double ampersands. Behind here, we're gonna wanna put a TD, and then we're gonna wanna put a button with a class name of button. All right, and then we'll call it delete. So this is just gonna be a button which says delete. And then inside of here, we actually wanna do our delete. Okay, so we'll say on click. And then inside of here, we're gonna pass in another function and we're going to say on delete. And then we're gonna pass in OBJ, which will be our ticket. So we're gonna pass in that ticket to delete. Okay, so now we should have a delete button here. There it goes. So now we have our delete, so we can click, click, click. I'm gonna create a new ticket. So I'm just gonna refresh the page so we can get rid of the old ticket that's in here. I'm gonna say tester. I want to set it to a, media, uh, a priority of high, and then I'll just say, uh, let's do, let's do rejected. All right, and I hit submit. So we create our ticket. So now we see tester, high, rejected, and our dates. So now if I click delete, boom, it disappears. There we go. So that's exactly what we wanted. So now we can click, and then we can delete. We can also update from here with our submit button. The only thing I want to do is you see how I had to refresh the page just to get rid of the ticket that's in here. So instead, we're going to put a clear button down here with the submit button. And that's what we're going to use to clear. That's where that unload ticket function is going to come into play. Let's go back to our code and then we're going to go back to app.js. And then in our ticket form, we need to pass in an on clear function. So we're gonna call this on clear and then we're gonna call unload ticket, all right? So now we're gonna to go to our ticket form.js and we're going to pass that in as a prop. So underneath on submit, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna type in on clear and originally it will do nothing, okay? And let's go down here where this last button is. So in this last form group, underneath this submit button, we're going to uh, pass in another button. And we'll give it a class. Well, let's not give it a class name right now. So let's just uh, make the button. So the button is going to be called clear. And we want to call the on clear function when we hit this. So we're going to say, on clear all right and that should clear it so let's see if that works so we click here uh we click there there it goes it works so boom clear and it's back to normal all right so we're good to go let's go back here um the only other thing i want to do is set the styling where these buttons are next to each other and not on top of each other so the way we'll do this is we're going to take this form group out of here. So the buttons are not gonna be in a form group. They're gonna be in what I'm gonna call a button dash group. So this will be a button group. And I'm gonna go put this in our index.css. So if I go down here, click on index.css, see how our button styles. So above our button, I'm just gonna put our button group. And our button group, uh, I think a dis, well with, uh, let's do 75%. That should match the length of the um, inputs. And then we're going to set the display as flex. I think that should do. Let's see what we got. Okay, so cool. So now we can see that we have our buttons lined up side by side. Let's go back. And I think we want to do a margin auto. Let's try that. Okay, that's fine. Now we're just going to set the length of each button to 50%. So let's go back to our, what is this at? Ticket form. And then each one of these buttons, we're going to set the width to 50%. So we're going to add a style here. So we'll say style, and then we'll do width, and then we'll do 50%. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing for this button. So, Drop that off, there we go. Now the buttons are next to each other, they're stretching out all the way across, and we're good to go. And they obviously still function, so there we go. So 
that adds all the functionality that we were missing back. So now we have our delete button, our click to view, and then we can still update using the submit, and then we can clear it now using this clear button. So um, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, I think I'm done with this series. Uh, if you guys want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments. If you want like to see how to do like a JSON web token authentication or something like that, you know, for this, uh, we could do that. We could add some users and things like that. But um, as of right now, I think this satisfies the requirement of showing you how to create a basically a very simple application where you are interacting with a database where you can do all CRUD functionality. So you can create, read, update, and delete anything from that table in the database. Um, so that's pretty much it for this one. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.